Fellow members of the Clash Files family, this is Wade bringing you an MLCW War recap. And as you can see, unfortunately, we uh, couldn't get it done against the Supreme Indians. Uh, and that is no way to diminish uh, the, the clan that we faced. They were amazing. Um, we knew that coming in, kind of did some homework and knew a little bit about them and watched how they did things and just knew that these guys were really good guys and girls and um just struggled just struggled a little bit um a couple of our town hall 11s had uh 99 percent two-star attacks which in the end probably was the difference between at least getting the tie and and being there in the end so uh but like i said nothing to take anything away from them they were amazing with their with their attacks and everything so let's go ahead I'm going to admit to you guys, I am flying blind on these attacks as I as I recap them, so please forgive me if I mess up. The first one we're going to look at is from Raze, and Raze does the hybrid, starts his queen charge down here at, at 3 o'clock. She's going to move up eventually, uses that uh, balloon to soak up to uh, take out that mortar, plus it gets the uh, any traps you know air mines or anything like that that could be a problem for that baby dragon baby dragon still doing work i don't think he's going to last much longer but he did a good job oh yeah took out that cannon good job there so what Ray's is wanting is for this archer queen to dive into the base and we'll see what she does here in a minute um uh, several instances of archer queen ai just not doing what it should have done in this war which is really annoying skelly trap pops gonna turn her around a little bit uh, let's see where she goes uh, as you can see right now this attack is not going the way that it was ah there she goes she finally turned around to go where Ray's wanted her to so that was good luck there that'll also draw out the clan castle at some point so amazingly the eagle has yet to pop here comes the hound there's the the eagle uh coming out now archer queen is not going to get the eagle at this point but um he's ray is rays is running out of time so rays has to drop the uh the hybrid portion of the attack uh, probably a little late on the Grand Warden, but the heel comes down around that multi-target Inferno. And uh, now the Eagle is gone. So still uh, still rolling through this base. Some wizards, interestingly, here have busted through the wall, or gone through this little section of wall. Uh, Archer Queen finally goes down, but goodness, there's a lot left with the uh, miners and the hogs and the P.E.K.K.A. around here on the side. Nice freeze there on that bomb tower. Mike could have moved it up just a smidge just to save um, the freeze that uh, uh, wizard towered as well. But, I mean, look at that. The, the uh, healers lock on to the miners, which is what finishes off this attack. So uh, good job there of not panicking Rays when the attack looked like it might be going south for a second. <clears throat> and... Now that's all she wrote. So good job there, Wraith. Nice attack. All right. So the next one we're going to look at is from uh, doo -doo -doo, Butters, number fourteen from Butters, and Butters does what Butters does. Um, Butters does mass miners. <laughs> and I'm not sure I've ever seen Butters do anything else besides mass miners. That's all he does in friendlies as well. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but just saying. So good use of the baby dragons here to create the funnel. They're going to create a really nice wide funnel here, as you'll see, <clears throat> which will allow that uh, Archer Queen a, a, a nice pathing right where uh, Butters is going to want her to go. It's going to get the Archer Queen. Lord, look how far that Seeking Air Mine's going. Bye, baby drag. Nice rage drop there. Archer Queen's going to hop in. This is quite the ambitious queen charge, by the way. Uh, she's got a long way to go. Fortunately, that air defense locks onto the healers. And there goes one from the, uh, from that, um, um, 
seeking air mine, but pulls the CC out. CC starts to go down. Uh, Clan Castle is down now. Archer Queen is about where uh, Butters wants her. It's going to be interesting to see if she turns and goes where she turns and goes to. She might have enough on that jump. Nope, not enough on that jump left to go in there and get the eagle. But there's a nice wide funnel left for... Uh, she's going to bust through this wall, I think, and go in there and get it. So uh, still has the Grand Warden ability, has a couple of heals and freezes, has a heal and a couple of freezes left. Here comes the hogs out of the clan castle. There goes the eagle now. So the eagle's down. So there's nice pathing. <clears throat> uh, you know where uh, everything's going at this point for Butters. So Archer Queen's still making her way, has a couple of healers working on her. Last heal goes down, so I uh, have to hope that everything's got enough to make it through, which it does, obviously. Archer Queen's still doing her job there. A uh, couple of miners down here to get the corner Tesla, which was nice. Uh, I've made my feelings quite known if you watch my cane farm videos about corner Teslas. Only Nazis and buttholes use corner Teslas, so... Uh, it's just a joke. If anybody from Supreme Indian watches this attack, it's it watches this video. It's just a, me just, you know, trying to entertain people during my videos. So really nice job there, Butters. And there is the three star. Um, <clears throat> the next one we're going to look at, excuse me, allergies. Oh, the change in weather has got the allergies bad around here. So the next one we're going to look at is from Neo. And I watched this attack live. It was really fun to see. This is a mass e-drag attack. He's going to do a Sui hero here uh, to get an air defense. As you can see, a lot of this base has enough space, has enough places for those e-drags to work through and, and kind of wreck everything. Barb King's making his way up. Archer Queen pops her ability to take out the enemy with Barb King. And now, gonna run some balloons in to try to get this air defense. And it works, so there's two air defenses left in the core, which is not going to be a problem. I think he brings, was eight eight uh, dragons, which is more than enough. Um, it's a good thing he brought eight in the end. So he's going to use the blimp here to get in here. Um, was a little behind on that clone spell. Would have liked to have cloned some balloons. Uh, it works out though, as you'll see, because these E-drags come in here and, and cloned E-drags are very powerful as well. So not a problem there. There goes uh, one more air defense remaining, as you can see. Nice freeze there. I use e-drags when I'm farming, um, and I mean, my goodness, you can hit a lot of bases. I, I use the uh, Graham Warden just to pop the ability, but a lot of these bases, um, I don't even use heroes and I three-star them. So there goes the, uh, the cloned e-drag, which could be a problem, and this was making us a little nervous here at this point because they all decided they wanted to go around the multi-target inferno instead of actually going for it so a um, couple of just trying to work their way through here as you'll see I forget I think he had a couple of dragons left by the time they get up there we were all you know butt puckered butts puckered at this point wondering if you're gonna get three um, you know you see the spells the traps coming down but luckily those last two dragons, you know, make make the difference and get the three star. So good job there, Neo. And I think we got one more left. Yeah, see that was uh there was a ninety nine percent two star. So that was really frustrating. And the last one we're gonna look at is from uh number f this is from Zarch Fernard. And Zarch does a hybrid here as well. Uh, has an interesting troop comp with 
only nine hogs you usually see more hogs than that so drops that balloon there just to tank a little bit for that e-drag um and he's going to start his his queen charge but that was good use of that uh that um that uh balloon there just to get that path thing going where he wanted it to there goes the uh, e-drag after the single target inferno gets him. Queen comes down with the Grand Ward and an Ice Golem. That Ice Golem is going to go into this section. Here comes the Clan Castle. Poison comes down. Seen a lot of archers and like two Ice Golems in the Clan Castle. So real interesting here. Um, freezes the Archer Queen, unfortunately. Gonna get two, she's going to get frozen twice, but at the same time, she's going to get the town hall. So a nice job there. There's the town hall. That was a major problem. Here comes the Barb King and the Siege Barracks to set that funnel for the hybrid. Set that passing, excuse me. Finally pops the Grand Warden ability, which was nice. Look how much the Queen is taken out at this point. Has two heals left for the hogs and the miners. Drops the first one on that single target inferno. There's a multi in there. Oh, that Pekka's going to go for it. Interesting. So that Pekka's actually going to take out that multi target inferno, which is really nice value. Finally, the, the second set of hogs out of the siege barracks. And. <clears throat> soon this base will start to get wrecked as you can see making the way through my the healers have switched over to the hogs and the miners is that a single target there i believe it is those hogs are going to take out that single target um, they're going to get taken out here but that's okay because there's enough miners um with the uh the healers healing them up. Pekka still up from the siege barracks which was nice and that is all she wrote for this base. Really nice job Zarch Fenard. Nice three star there. So I think that's all the attacks I'm going to show from this but this war. Yeah yeah yeah. Yep that's it. Uh, so good job to everybody uh, unfortunately we just missed out a little bit on some attacks um, really put forth a great effort I feel like we're getting better and better each week um, once again you know all props to Supreme Indians those guys were really good and and also take nothing away from them but anyways uh, this is Wade from the Clash Files family, uh, wishing everybody the best, and we'll see you again next weekend. Bye, everybody.